I'm meteorologist Grant Skinner with the News 5 First Alert Storm Team here with your Saturday evening July 6th update on Tropical Storm Barrel. As of the 7 p.m. advisory, it still has 60 mile per hour winds and the pressure is at 997 millibars. We haven't seen a whole lot of changes in the overall intensity today thanks to dry air and shear, but as it gets closer to the Texas Gulf Coast, we will see more changes. It will likely be back to a Category 1 hurricane by the time we hit 1 p.m. Sunday. It could be a strong Category 1 or stronger at landfall on Monday along the Texas Gulf Coast. But once it makes landfall, it will then quickly weaken as it moves to the north, then eventually northeast. But remember, this just shows where the center of the storm will likely move. Impacts will still be felt well outside this cone that I'm showing you. That's why there are alerts that are in effect for the entire Texas Gulf Coast, including areas just south of Corpus Christi and as far north as Bay City and included in that hurricane warning. And then we have hurricane watches in place for areas just to the south along the far southern portions of the Texas Gulf Coast. And then tropical storm warnings in effect for areas just outside of Houston and Galveston, Texas as well. And then far eastern portions of Texas along the coastline and the far western portions of the Louisiana coast under that tropical storm watch. For those offshore waters, we're going to have some stronger winds there and there's going to be a lot of rainfall as well. Again, strong winds, some storm surge possible. You can see those storm surge alerts are in place for the entire Texas Gulf Coast. For storm surge as high as six feet for some spots, areas in the Louisiana a little bit lower, but still could have some significant surge for some areas along that Texas Gulf Coast. So folks along the coastline need to be making preparations now because this is coming very soon. Again, a landfall likely on Monday. Look at the rainfall potential all the way through next week. Some spots could have a really, really good dosage of rain, especially in areas to the southwest of Houston, between Corpus Christi and Houston, up to seven inches of rain for some spots, maybe five to seven inches in areas in between that. So some significant rainfall for parts of East Texas, also parts of Arkansas into later next week, and even parts of Oklahoma, Louisiana, getting a good batch of rain thanks to tropical storm barrels. Something to keep our eyes on as we head into the next week as the system moves inland. For our stretch of the Gulf Coast, the biggest concern is going to be that coastal flooding, which is mainly only going to uh, be minor and stay around until early Sunday morning. And then we're also going to have a high risk for rip currents as well along our local beaches. You can find all the latest information on evacuation zones, also a home tracking chart for all these tropical systems on the 2024 Hurricane Guide. That can be found on WKRG.com. You can also go to the Hurricane Map Room under the Weather tab to track all the latest tropical systems.